Hi everyone, Ralph here from Board Game Gateway again. Uh, thank you for joining me as I unbox Canvas. Uh, so Canvas is a game all about trying to assemble the best painting. Now what's interesting is it does say 14 plus on the box, which is really strange. Um, and it plays in half an hour. This is a very quick game. There's, you know, essentially you find the color that you want. Oh, this isn't on the box. That's weird. The, the canvas, the print of canvas that you can scratch off. And that, that's not on the box. So the box itself is just the picture. So canvas, what I really love about it, looks amazing. Presentation is beautiful. It even has painting on the sides of the canvas. And you can wall mount the box which is really cool, so people don't suspect it's a board game. And it just slides out. There we go. Rule book. It's a very simple game. Rule book is literally four pages. Um, we have what looks like just normal bags. It does come with a little play mat. And there we go. So that's pretty much where the cards are gonna sit, just across. Now the cards are big. Now also in the box, we've got three of these, I believe. Uh, these are just punchable award tokens. So these are all your cards and these are what looks like sleeves. So sleeves are important for the game to work and function. So you start with a canvas. Okay, and there are objective cards and some objective cards that says that you might need um, the majority of yellow in your painting or you know that a particular shape and these are the cards itself I am plastic challenged as the rest of the world is so these are for example a picture with colors so it's got triangles it's got the green things like that so as the cards come out like, like so it actually looks really interesting. It's much better in real life than looking at it online. And the rest sort of sit in this box. So no one can sort of see them. So say I wanted this card, I could take that one for free. But if I want that card, I need to leave one of these on there. And I'll grab this card. That's what you do in your turn. The, um, the max your hand size is, is five of these clear cards. And say it like, oh, I really need triangles in my painting. I really want this triangle. I can put pastel, pastel, pastel there. What is escaping me? And then I got the triangle, which is better. Now these do overlay on top of each other. So in a way, once I have five of these in my hand, let's just grab a couple. I can then create a painting on the easel using the sleeve. So this, this background will be in a sleeve. Uh, and I can put three of these paintings together in a sleeve. So let's just make a quick painting. And it gives it a name. So this one here is called Extreme Moment. So I've got a, like a tidal wave going up against what looks like Rapunzel's Tower or something. So it's called Extreme Moment, which is cool. It gives it a, its own name because these overlay on top of each other. So instead of extreme moment, I could have wandering moment, which is really cool. Uh, and then we get points according to the objective cards that are out uh, and all the things that are on the card. So you're just trying to make the most points. So all you do on your turn is you get a, you get a clear card or you make a painting. If you have three or three to five in your hand, you have to make a painting when you have five. Uh, and every player is going to make three paintings on a different background. They pick which background they want. Uh, but you don't get points for the background. It's just aesthetics. Um, most points wins. Very simple game. What do you think of that, Bob? <laughs> now, since you stayed this long, I'm going to give you a bit of a story. So behind me, we have some of my wife's lovely paintings that she does. Um, they look amazing. This one we did at one of those paint and sip classes. Uh, and it was meant to be an African savannah, but I can't paint. And uh, my one, I tried drawing an, a giraffe. My giraffe looks like a camel or an alien. So I thought, instead of being the sun, let's make this Saturn on fire and draw paint an alien invasion 
instead of African savannah. So uh, I think a little bit differently, but painting can be fun if you let it be. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this game. Uh, and uh, Bob Ross said, beat the devil out of it. <laughs> See you, everyone. <laughs>